Eva trades. Hey, welcome to Eva Trades. This is the live show. Happy Tuesday, everybody. And we're going to go look at some charts and then we're going to trade. So let's go. And I released a series of short videos this morning, something new I'm trying. And I'll try to uh, go back and review all my trades one by one and post them on YouTube and share them with you. Uh, I figured if nothing else, it'll help me to go back and look at my trades um, one at a time. So, um, so far the market this morning uh, is pulling back, but the SPY overall, we can certainly take a look here. That's not what I want to see. Oh, okay, I don't have it typed in, do I? So, uh, daily time frame, looking at, looking at a lower high. I mean, I'm scouting a lower high somewhere below 16 or 4, 16, 49. If I were to trade the major indices or looking at SPY. Um, so looking for a possible trend change on the hour hourly, looking like it's happening right now, but that's pre-market. So we'll see what happens there, but that's a pretty good pullback. Sure is a lot bigger than what it was when I first looked at it about a oh, half hour or an hour ago. Okay. So gapping up in the market today, not a lot. Leading gapper is up 20%. That is FUSN. That's right here. And it doesn't look very good, to be honest with you. But I put it there because I don't really have anything else to look at. Same with SINT. You know, not that great looking, but big move here. Two minutes ago. So no, 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 no. This is... Uh, let's get down here to the smaller time frames. There we go. All right. That's what I want to look at. Yeah. So the volume's really light. Got to see a lot more volume than that. The only one right now that I'm really interested in is SI, and it's been consolidating here on the five minute time frame, looking for a higher low. Right now we have the start of a one minute downtrend. So I want to see that one minute downtrend change back to the bulls. We do have a channel. Looks like a falling wedge. Bit of a uh, bear pennant or I'm um, sorry a bull pennant there so I'm gonna set up my stop-loss parameters down here I'm looking at candle ranges I'm gonna go with 30 cents on that one going back up here you can see that the breakout is starting to happen I can't trade right now too close to the bell I don't like to trade pre-market this close in Coming up to that resistance anyway, is we got to get over 1630. Anything below 1630 is just a lower high on that one minute time frame, but nice move. So we'll see. Breaking through that descending line. Nice pullback to the VWAP right there. Volume, not bad. Had one high red volume candle here. So I kind of wonder if it's going to break out from here, you know, and, and get back over the highs. I would really like that to have at least one good stock to trade today. So my progress so far, we have plenty of time before the bell rings. That's not what I wanted to look at. <clears throat> this is my progress. I'm in 20 days in this uh, small account challenge. I'm up $201. I've had two, two, you know, decent green days back to back. So I'm hoping for another one today. However, I'll share this with you too. I traded pre-market this morning um, and it didn't go well for me. I'm down 16 bucks. So that's not what I wanted to start out. I don't like starting out red. My, let's get rid of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like I'm losing my voice here. Um, my daily goal is $20. And here's that road to a million dollars. I'm looking to get $500 to finish phase one, um, $20 at a time. So here are my game book rules. I'm done if I hit my max loss of $40. I'm done if I give back half after hitting my goal. I won't take more than four positions to start the day and I won't take more positions than my max loss allows for. Those are just four of the rules that I try to follow on a daily basis. I broke that rule yesterday about my max loss. I did hit my max and I kept trading and ended up making it all back and hitting my daily goal. So. Essentially, from the lows of yesterday, I made three times my daily goal. 
that was pretty impressive. So S-I-N-T, not much to say. It gave back most of its move. Tried to see continuation higher here, failed on that five minutes. So we have a red five minute candle with higher volume. Equilibrium right now in the one minute time frame. High, low, lower, high, looking for a higher low. Anything above that level is a higher low. We got to see volume before anything else can happen here, before I'm interested in it at all. Got to see volume. Okay, I'll go ahead and set up a stop loss parameter on it just in case. Um, I'm going to go with like the higher range on the five minutes, so 10 cents. So I'll just go down here and I'll select 10 cents. Hit go, it'll put in my share size and all that. Good stuff there. Nothing hitting the high of day scan right now. We have 10 seconds to go till the market opens. I guess I'll put in a parameter, stop parameter here too. <clears throat> F-U-S-N. All right. The market's open. I can't trade the first one minute. I mean, I can, but there are times when... I've uh, paid the price for trying to. So thinkorswim, yeah, I don't trade the first one minute with thinkorswim. Thirty-four cents on that candle range. Wow, we do have some volume coming in on FUSN here. Trading below the VWAP, it's a five minute downtrend, just, just looking for a lower high. And it's already made a pretty good move. I'm not sure I wanna jump in that. I'm gonna wait, I think. S-I-N-T, no volume yet, can't trade that. I tried trading something like this yesterday and it got me good and I don't wanna do that again. Now coming down here to that descending line on SI. I'll give it a shot. So I'm going to cancel that. I don't know what's happening there, but my order wasn't filling. So I'm just getting back out. <clears throat> hey, thanks, average. Uh, average is that KXD? Good luck to you too, bud. Thank you. I hope we can find something to trade this morning because it's not looking good yet. So SI, 15 minute two bar pullback. Will it let me trade here? See that, it's just not, it's not filling. That makes me nervous. I'm just gonna cancel that and just kind of wait. So the SPY is dropping. Pretty good, pretty good. I wanna see what that daily time frame looks like. So it's a daily inside bar. But it's still an hourly uptrend. I could you call that. Well, you know, we get this weird stuff here, but I, it's still kind of an hourly uptrend. It's just not healthy consolidation. We're pulling back pretty good here. So I would expect, if anything, if we bounce from here, a lower high is what I would be anticipating on a bounce on the hourly. But anything can happen. I'm not predicting it. I'm just saying that that's kind of what I'd be looking for. FUSN, it's got a little bit of volume. Got an inside bar. I thought it might break bullish there, but now it's not. SI is hitting the scan. Why is SI hitting the scan? Oh, wait a minute. We got to scroll up. Ah, BWV. <clears throat> ah, now we have something moving. Uh, it's a cheaper stock, though. Don't really like those so much. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm curious about FUSN here. I'm thinking about punching the 
punching my order here. My stop loss is a long ways away. So I'm I'm also in BWV over here. I'm buying off of the VWAP. And it's failing now. So I'm going to take a loss on it. I just exited before it even got close to my stop loss. That's not the action I expected to see. Gonna focus on FUSN, see if uh, this inside bar pattern breaks bullish. There's the break. Can we hold it? I want to add, but uh, not sure that I should just yet. Eye of day is up here at 4.52, starting to fail now. I'm going to get back out. Oops. Oops. <clears throat> Maybe it goes green and starts to go back up, but it's just it's taking too long for me. I, I don't like I don't want to sit there and wait for it to stop me out. I'm just going to get get out of the trade break even. Lost a dollar. Let's take a look at that PL down 21.55. So I can. I'm halfway to my max loss. I could choose to stop and say, hey, I don't want to take any more losses, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to see if something. Some kind of opportunity comes along. The SOUN over here. GNUS is halted. I, that's not one that I usually usually trade. GNUS. Wow. Maybe I should trade it. Buying this for the breakthrough 450. There's the break. I like where my stop loss is sitting. So so we have a resistance up here at 470 and 475. That five minute candle is halfway through. Uh oh. I was looking at something else, wasn't watching. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to take a loss on that one too. Better check my PL here. Down 29.85 now. So we didn't hold up. That's disappointing. So I'm in a trade here, FUSN. I was buying this dip right. No, actually, I was buying as this broke out right here. So high of day is up at $1.59, cheaper stock. I don't normally do very well trading cheaper stocks, but I'm gonna give it a try, we'll see what happens. I like the pattern that I'm seeing here. So this may be a day where I should just be taking profit quickly.
the halt on GNUS, that candle is 38 cents. I'm going to set up a stop loss on that. You know, I'm actually going to add, I'm adding to be WV here. We have a resistance up at $1.67, looking up at the 15 minute time frame. And of course, I'm not taking profit. Probably should be. That halt was at 636. SOXL. And SOUN breaking out further. Selling SOUN there. So it's a new five minute candle. I wonder if BWV is gonna pull back further than that on that five minute, but we are, there's a good chance we could bounce here off of this, the top of that last candle back here. Or not. Yeah, I don't want to go red on this, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. So I made back some of what I lost. I'm only down 20 now. Let's see, resumption on GNUS <clears throat> should be any second now. Got halted at 636. Resumption should be any second, so I might look to try to buy it. Oh, my stop. Whoa. Oh, I never did. Never mind. I never did set up my stop loss on it. That's better. Okay. Uh oh, that's a big pullback. Well, let me see if that puts, does that put me down? Not at my daily max loss yet, but that was a big one. I'm going to buy that and hope it doesn't get halted going down. I'm looking for a bounce off the VWAP here. Let's flatten it out. It's buying that dip there as it came down. No, not working for me. So I think I'm going to have to stop trading today. I'm in twice over here too. I'm pretty sure I'm at well below my max loss. I'm going to hold this for that dip trade possibility here. But not looking good. Down 52.41.
and I'll move my stop loss up on this and just hold on and see what we get. We do have a one minute uptrend now, a higher low and higher high. Equilibrium here on FUSN. So it's a new five minute candle now. I've been making the mistake of not selling when I'm profitable. I keep looking for that big mover and um, just I haven't been getting it. Let's see if FUSN can hold up this time on this breakout. Gonna move my stop losses up to the low. Big red volume candle here. That's a little concerning. Coming up to resistance on SOXL. Yep, flattening out FUSN there. It just doesn't like to hold its moves. Nice break on SOXL here. Let's see if it can hit my target. I don't normally hold and let things hit my target, but if it does, that'd be pretty sweet. Now, what would suck if it's, is if this is the top right here. I've had that happen where it comes up and just almost gets to me. I'm also going to trade over here. And there I flattened it out. I'm going to flatten this one out too. I'm down 38 bucks on the day. I'm making back some of what I lost. Let's go back over and watch this. So that might very well be the top for now, but we're pulling back. So looking for a higher low on that one minute time frame. I might even move my target up just a bit. I kind of like what I'm seeing there. I'm gonna test fate just a little bit.
I'm actually, what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to move my stop loss up to the low of that last pullback because that's where I want to be out of the trade if it pulls back any further. I am back in a trade over here as it's starting to break. Back to green on that stock now. Probably could have held. It looks like it's going to go. So coming back up here. Yeah, I'm just going to flatten this one out. So making 1698 on that. And I'm glad I got out of this one when I did. Still red on the day though, down $31. At one point I was down almost 60. <clears throat> and BWV coming down to this support level. That's not the kind of price action you want to see. What are we doing on SPY? Well, SPY had a nice bounce there, it looks like. 15-minute bounce underway right now. Looking for a, what, a nice move on the 5. So we have enough space here to pull back and form a higher low. So if you're looking to go long on SPY, you could look for a higher low on five minute on the 5-minute time frame. It is a one minute uptrend. I expected that, of course. Well, we found our bottom so far. It's the low of the day thus far. It was a 15 minute oversold bounce. I'm getting in here. I'm B BWV looking for the big money now. Flatten it. Oh, that was, uh, I was up 15 bucks on it and then I sold it and it had dropped. Couldn't get out in time. Let's see if we get another bounce. Now that is not fun. Yeah, <clears throat> really hated that. I'm just going to get out of that. So that's that's going to back down negative 52. So we broke out over that, all that resistance and could not hold. I took a sec second entry on that and that's where that's what got me. Well, I'm back in over here on FUSN. I jumped in it just as this was breaking and then I added once more. Pretty aggressive. It's been consolidating for a while. This one keeps breaking out and failing. And I keep I keep on holding 
And so I'm not going to change that now. I'm just going to hold it again and see, see if we get continuation finally. I've been looking for it all morning. It hasn't been coming. So welcome to my morning. This has been the way it has been this morning for me every single time so far. Oh my gosh, what a rough one. <clears throat> yeah, so FUSN, the big loser on the day so far. But SOXL, I mean, that was nice consolidation, and my stop losses are down below the previous low down here, so I'm in pretty good shape there. I could potentially hold this for a bigger move. And I'm kind of thinking I could add to it right here on that pullback there. A lot of buyers on the bid. Where's the resistance? Got to keep an eye on that. So we have a target resistance up here, 17. Ooh, might be looking for a lower high on the 15 minute time frame though. I'm kind of thinking we have been moving up for quite a while here with no consolidation on the larger time frame. Even on the five minute, haven't really consolidated. Well, I'm going to take my profit while I've got it right there. I'm not seeing the break here on SOUN. I'm going to get out. I'm up I'm up on it already, so I'll just get out. Good timing. Get out just before the drop. I guess other people were thinking the same thing. So SOXL coming up to the resistance of 1702.
And there's SOXL for you, pulling back. Seven o'clock hour is approaching. Uh oh, somehow. Oh boy. Well, yeah, I was trying to make a little bit more on that, but it didn't quite work out for me. So, um, All right, well, I traded over here up $162. You kind of missed that trade. It happened pretty quick there. That puts me up at $17.84 on the day. <clears throat> and it has been a battle. And the reason why is because I keep getting in uh, FUSN and it breaks out and I get in, it breaks out and fails, it breaks out and fails and breaks out and fails. I got caught up in quite a few of these today. I'm hoping that you didn't. So SOXL, the big winner on the day. Yeah. So I'm going to have to probably stop there before I end up giving back money. Um, full disclosure, uh, what I did over here on SOXL was I increased my share size, and that's how I made $162. I saw a good setup and I thought I would take a chance being that SOXL is strong like it is. I felt confident getting in right. This is where I got in. I had an inside bar coming up to that resistance and I bought the break. Yep. <clears throat> it broke out. It came back for a second. I jumped in it. It made a move up and I sold it. Um, I increased my share size to a hundred dollar risk instead of a $10 risk. So I could have paid the price for that, but, um, that's some Wild West stuff there. Yeah. Just sometimes it's hard to stop watching. <clears throat> All 
All right, well, I'm going to try to uh, post some of these uh, trades to the YouTube shorts. There are quite a few of them that I kind of missed. I wasn't on the right screens whenever I was taking them, so I might not be able to post all of them, but I'll, I'll do as many as I can. Nice breakout here on SI, pulling back to the to the VWAP now. But I feel like I'm done. I kind of don't feel like I want to push the buy button anymore. So that's time for me to exit. I'm going to take one look here. Uh, one last look at the P&L. Make sure I'm not in any trades. I've got to be careful. 83 orders today, up $17.84. So let's see what that looks like when I put that in here. 1784, another green day, 214. And so we're getting close. I'm getting close to that. If you could draw a descending line on my PL here, you can see I'm right up at that descending line. Does that mean I'm going to pull back tomorrow? Come back and find out. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye.